Hi, everybody. Good afternoon and good morning and uh, or uh, good evening. Pastor Doug with you here for another midweek moment as another midweek goes by. And we're now moving out of, we're going to push October off into the frozen tundra. Actually, it wasn't, it's, it's cold now, but it wasn't during the month of October. And we're going to move in, we're going to pull in November uh, for this um, time of year as we listen to this midweek moment. Pastor Doug, a couple minutes to encourage us in the faith with uh, Faith Lutheran in Avon and St. Andrews and Speedway. God be with you all. And I just wanted to say for this midweek moment that I saw a movie over the weekend called After Death. You won't probably hear about this in the news and or social media very much. After Death was by Angel Studios, which has brought to us other Christian-based or uh, those kinds of faith-based movies. So I went to see After Death over the weekend and I would give it one thumbs up, not two in my review of the movie, but I urge you to consider going to see it. And if several of you do from the two churches, maybe we can talk about it um, sometime on Zoom or uh, by phone or whatever. Uh, be curious if you go see it, what you thought or what you think. I'm not gonna do anything here or say anything that's gonna take away from the movie at all. It's called After Death. It's a documentary. It's about an hour and 48 minutes, give or take, um, PG-13, but it's uh, officially here. The um, plot is scientists, authors, and survivors of near-death experiences. People who've had a near-death experience that they absolutely 120% believe is true discuss the spiritual and the scientific dimension of mortality and the afterlife. Again, a movie called After Death. It's a documentary. It's out now in the theaters. Scientists, authors, survivors of near-death experiences discover the spiritual and the specific and scientific dimensions of mortality and the afterlife. They really didn't do very much in the spiritual realm, in my opinion, at least not very deep, uh, where they could have, I think, explored Jesus and the, God's plan for the world, etc. They they didn't do a lot of that and a lot of scripture. It was interviews of people who had been through a near-death experience, and you could tell just by the depth of their conviction and by the description of what happened to them, uh, it was an incredible event for that person. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, all around the country of every culture, every race, every faith tradition, many, 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 many have had near-death experiences. Many times it has to do with an operation or they see themselves from the top of the operating room looking down or in an accident. In many cases, uh, 90 Minutes in Heaven was the name of one of the books and the author is, is interviewed. So it's very informational. And it's just interesting to me because in our culture, we're very curious about what happens after death. Of course, we don't talk about it, but, you know, we, we got, you know, Peter at the pearly gates and uh, we've got this image of, of uh, you know, maybe Father Time is going to be standing there or an older man with a robe and a long beard. Uh, we know from scripture, there's lots to say there, of course, and certainly we only have one person who's gone and has come back to tell us a little bit about it. But certainly in, in Philippians, in the first chapter, Paul writes, he, he can't decide whether it's better for him to die uh, and go be with the Lord or to stay here. And that's, I think it's 123 in Philippians, uh, where that verse is mentioned about Paul saying, I can't decide whether for me it would be better to die or stay here and remain with you all, he, he writes to the Philippians. So there's a lot to say about all of that, and, and I'm not going to take the time to really do it here. You know, as they as they went toward the end of the movie, and I'm not taking anything away from it, but, but several of the ones who had been interviewed, who had written books, who had this near-death experience in the afterlife, you know, they describe the things you've heard before on other movies and shows, and maybe you've read about white lights and warmth and those kinds of images. But 
but several of them talked about uh, love, that it just is about this overwhelming sense of love for one another and for themselves. And I think that's what it's all about. I don't think we need to worry personally, my opinion. I'm not too worried about the afterlife, about what's next. Uh, there are many others who are, and many things have been written, and here's a movie about it. Uh, I'm more interested in, in living for today and in today. And so if we take that concept of, of a couple of the interviewees in the movie talk about love, which is not, a, I don't think, a surprise. It doesn't take anything away from the movie. Uh, this love now can come into our day daily journey, and we can live that out today, right? I mean, the Lord said uh, the greatest commandment would be to love God with your whole heart, soul, and mind. Love your neighbor as as you love yourself so love that's the theme you know really that kind of comes through the movie after death there's so much more to it i invite you to go see the movie for something to do on on these cold days of late october early november i invite you to let me know if you see it and we can talk about it i urge you to consider what you think and what you feel knowing that while much has been written and there's much in scripture, the bottom line is how do we live that out today? To reach out and love neighbor, uh, to care for each other, to pray for each other, um, to give, you know, in the stewardship season of the year, to think about our giving. If it's automatically being done, don't just make it rote, but to prayerful, talk to God, converse with God about your giving and see if you can't raise your pledge by uh, some dollars and and we think about our time, talent, and treasure and what God has given us in those regards, how much more we can give and love doing that as we go forward, because God loves a cheerful giver. So uh, please note by this announcement that the time changes this weekend. It got past me. I did not announce it Sunday. Not that you need me to tell you what to do, but the time changes this weekend. And I think we fall forward, which I believe we're going to lose an hour, uh, if I recall correctly. Spring back, fall forward, something like that. Or do we fall back and spring forward? Either way, doesn't matter. Notice the time change. Figure it out in your clocks before you go to bed Saturday night. See you Sunday. God be with you till we meet again. Go see the movie after death. Let me know what you think. God be with you till we meet again. Thanks for tuning in to the Midweek Moment. For St. Andrews Lutheran in Speedway and Faith Lutheran in Avon, Pastor Doug. Goodbye, everybody. See you later. All right.